Hi Taurus, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your love message read based on the past, current and what's going to happen in the near future. Overall reading this is going to be so take what resonates and for personal readings reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. I also do white prayer based spells for high school. We have all types of spells and energized pure intention charged high vibrational best quality gray crystals these are some toxicity removal crystals which are energized which will be energized as per your intentions as well uh black magic energy removal health crystals and cleansing crystals so if you're interested you can buy these these are very pure 100 percent uh, pure and high grade quality we ship all around the world and uh what else yeah follow my instagram for all the updates and check out reels for more crystals and subscribe to this channel taurus for more insights in future for more videos and i've started doing daily horoscopes on facebook so don't miss out on that check out my facebook and follow i enigma over there let's see taurus sun moon rising or venus signs and taurus across watchers what's coming up for you now i'll focus on the first four cards right now there's someone that wants to marry you but this person is cranky this person is a little like dominating uh, a little dominant yeah i feel like you guys are very different not very much alike like there's not much compatibility here um they want to marry you they want to be with you it's like they claim you they want to claim you or they want to grab you by hook or by crook that's the energy and this is someone very rich guys is coming towards you I feel you will be, you will be very confused because you could be one younger than this person, less experienced than this person, and you think that all of this is happening sudden. Maybe this person is just joking around. Maybe they're gonna change their mind later on. So a lot of confusion is going on, guys, in your head, and you're wondering what should I do in this situation. So you're confused. This could be an Aries coming towards you, right? Eight of Pentacles. I'm seeing this person making efforts towards you. They do have a lot of work, but they definitely want to take time out for you and come towards you. I'm seeing this person calling you every now and then. And I feel like, yes, there is attraction from both the sides. But when it comes to the long, th long term thing, you're being cautious because you don't want to be with someone that gives you hopes. And then in the end of the day, doesn't uh fulfill your needs it doesn't fulfill your needs hope taking hope is good but not from the person who is promising you that they're gonna be by your side okay that is something you're being cautious about this could be someone that is your senior your boss or someone at your workplace highly attracted towards you expect a gift from this person or a promotion from this person they're planning on giving you a surprise or something they want to make you happy they want to see you at the top they want to help you grow but there's something that you're not able to trust this person with either they are married and they're still uh, coming after you and telling you that they're going to leave the other person because they're toxic or there is one more person that's coming into your life, guys. That is another superpower personality. This person is very rich. So you're confused. One, you don't trust any of these. You don't know whether they are coming here for something serious or something just casual. Number two, there is an age difference, okay, with the first one. So you're confused. Number three, uh, you feel like... Uh, there's not enough compatibility. I would say like you guys are not on the same page, but still you feel like they're giving you a lot of uh, attention. I'm seeing both of these options are showing you a lot of love and attention. They could be rich. They could be very rich. Both of them. One person could be into cryptocurrency or banking or investments. And another person could be a boss of some kind, an authority. Things have started to move really, really fast in your life. I'm seeing a major promotion or a major hike also someone is coming up with. Like they want to give you. If this is someone from your workplace, they're really in. They're seeing you in uh, their good books and they really want to help you grow. But maybe this is a person from the past that you're getting rid of. The one that I'm telling you about, the second one who is around your age, very rich. I feel like you're walking away from this person. This could be a Cancer or a Scorpio because they're not giving you enough. Maybe you guys were engaged or about to get engaged, but this person got too involved with their work and they started getting distracted. So you're moving on from someone. That's the energy that I'm getting right now, Taurus. You're moving on from someone, taking your time so that you can heal yourself Indulge yourself into self-love activities. Travel around the world to make you feel good. 
because you understand the theory that it's not that one person that you can base all your life on so you're pretty good wherever you are even if you're moving on it's not bothering you that much but the new person that's coming into your life is someone that is a bit too controlling and they're like oh i want you there's someone that is extremely straightforward and they'll be like telling you that they want to be with you you will meet this person in a party or a celebration or you guys will get more involved when there is a party or a celebration you guys meet together and talk together so there's a lot of conversations going on between the two of you you will see them showing you a lot of support a lot of chivalry a lot of help you will see this person helping you uh with food serving you food you know they are uh, being available to you in a party or something so you guys have started getting indulged a few things are getting really serious from especially this person's end but you're confused you're like maybe this is the one maybe this is not the one i may need to just take a break okay so this is also someone that stays very busy so sometimes you expect too much from this person to be available for you and they're not able to don't think that this person is playing games it's just that this person is a workaholic this could be a libra they don't like one thing they really want you to be on the same page as they are they don't like one thing and that is skepticism doubt if you start doubting this person not open up your heart to this person they may get really uh, aggressive so i feel this this person is too bossy and they are like very mas masculine even even if it's a female they're quite masculine they're in this alpha energy right now so this could be a libra they're thinking about equal give and take they really want someone that meets them on the same page that understands them once they meet that kind of a person they will be opening up their heart completely to you so they want to lay out their heart to you openly that is why you might see this person's aggressive or dominant side in initial time but slowly when you open up when this connection grows and you become fond of them they will open up their sensitive heart to you you will see how emotional loving and kind and open they are so this person is a die hard lover but they won't show it at the first go nobody would believe that this person is a lover they are hopeless romantic they have done a lot of work in their past to deal with their person uh they have been hurt many many times so that is why it's really difficult for this person to come openly with this loving heart and then get uh, you know affected so that is why you will see this person coming towards you with a, a little like toxic energy but slowly you will see you you give them time you date a little bit like 2 to 3 months you'll see how this person opens up and tells you everything about their past okay you are traveling i feel it's really important for you to not be in the same place because if you think about someone stay in the same place you might get into a deep anxiety sadness so it's important for you to keep moving okay keep changing keep moving and meeting new people this is going to keep you refreshed and replenished sometimes you might overthink about what this person just said to you i'm also seeing you ending up into being in this victim situation it's not because of this person it's because you have you will start liking this person so much that you will be fearful of losing them and you might end up making more efforts than normal and that can push this person away because most of the time this person stays super busy and you might want more time you might want more attention you will be always in the sphere of them finding someone new but i'm also seeing there's another option coming into your life as well and let's see let's see what this is all about the lovers and the eight of wands please clarify the lovers and the eight of wands this could be a gemini uh huh i'm seeing one more option coming into your life extremely passionately around your age but you might reject them because you're already with this person so you will be so confused you will be so confused like what am i supposed to do in this situation so make sure that you're not opening up your heart until you are aware that this person wants to marry you or date you or something like that you're going to be really strict with your loyalty you're not going to mess with your loyalty when you know this is not right you won't do it you won't even cheat your person so you're strong like that i feel like your person really likes you and adores you for your loyalty and this is why the connection will become more deeper with the time within 2 months of dating this is going to become more deep so i feel you both are highly logical practical you both are not that those people that uh drop your work and go out looking for some fun 
or casual stuff. You both are more about, you know, living life together and helping each other grow and making babies, having a home, having family, like getting married and then also focusing on your ambition. So you both might be from the same background financially and, uh, you know, professionally. I'm also seeing you both are on the same page. This is why they see you as a perfect fit. You guys, initially you won't realize what this is happening, but later find out that this is your soulmate. Queen of Pentacles. This person will have a person before they met you, before they meet you, they will have someone else extremely rich and successful coming after them, like anything, okay? And that could stress you a lot more, I'm sensing, but this person will stop the other person. I'm seeing that they're going to stop the other person. They're going to make them like, sit on the side and just watch the series with you so it's like this person wants to be with you they want to flaunt you they are going to set solid boundaries against anyone new trying to come between you and them so they're very strong in keeping their relationship for life with you when we're having five of pentacles the eight of swords is someone that you need to get rid of like some of you are going through money issues everything is going to get resolved but come out of your comfort zone change your job and if that's not true then there's someone from the past that you're still talking to or there's someone toxic that you're still giving a hope or chance to i feel it's time for you to break away from that person or that relationship Taurus. Yes, there's someone that is causing you pain. All right. And if it's a new person, it is temporary. But if it's someone from the past and you've been going through it from a long time, it's time for you to block that person. Because they will interfere in your love life. That's happening. Privilege. You're extremely lucky to be in this person's life because people really are after this person. They're successful. They're rich. They're very uh, big personality. I feel like you might not like this person being the center of attention by other people. A lot of people are going to put a lot of focus on them and they will be always in limelight. They will always have people around them. Okay. And that is something that you may need to adjust with and not blame the other person. But this is a person that you were looking for. It's time for you to take a break, relax, rest, have fun not think about future write down your thoughts so that you can vent out your emotions if in any case you are having any negative emotions some of you writing a book it will get published all right see all right so i'm seeing this person wants you to be more expressive about your feelings they are highly attracted towards you they want you to as well make efforts towards them and this is someone that wants to stick around no matter what okay this is a deep connection, guys. And I feel this person will change you in a lot of ways. You will not sit and wait for love all the time. You will start, you will buck up and focus on um, your, you know, work, your ambition, you know, building a life and family together and growing in love, growing, you know, in, in life in general. So it's something that you don't believe in right now. That's happening. This person could be a teacher or your. this is your life purpose. You're meant to teach. Either of two. All right. Now let's seek an advice over here. Okay, we have two. Control issues. Stop trying to control this happiness, this blessing coming your way. This person is definitely good. Don't over, uh, you know, uh, think about the situation. Just go with the flow. That is what it is saying. And keep your heart protected. Safe. And it's time for you to indulge in love. Like give yourself love and attract more love. Ruby is going to be a wonderful stone for you. This person has a huge house. You will be so lucky to be with this person. Live with this person. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now let's see the signs come again. Do claim this reading in the comment section. Say I believe. And subscribe so that you don't miss out on future updates coming up. Aquarius. You could have a Virgo coming in. 
you could have a Libra coming in. You could have an Aries, one more please, and Virgo again. These are the signs that you can come across in the near future. From Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you? Aries is highly attracted towards you. Oh my gosh, this person keeps thinking about you. They're very attracted towards you. Taurus is in deep confusion. They're distracted and they don't know what, whether they want this or not. So give them more time. They want to take it slow. Gemini is not interested. They're moving on. Cancer. Cancer is missing you a lot. This person wants to bring back old memory. Leo. Leo wants marriage, commitment. Virgo. Virgo is stalking you a lot. This person is a player. I feel like I'm not seeing this person uh, staying for a long time, but you can change this person because this is more like an immature energy. They could be younger as well. Okay. Libra. Libra wants this new beginning, a solid start with you. They see your proper future with you. Scorpio. I feel this person has been lying to you, making you wait. And every now and then they keep coming and leaving your life, which is not a healthy energy. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is, uh, I feel like they're going to make you crazy in love and then run away. Be careful. Capricorn. Much interested in your body than you. Aquarius, this person is someone that you won't like after a certain period of time. You will just become uh, disinterested in them because of their behavior. You guys are not on the same page, Pisces. This is the end. They moved on. You move on. Oh, wow. Too many... Wow. Pay attention to your health. You're getting better. You're looking amazing. Avocado could be your favorite one. Fruit. And then I'm seeing spiritual journey. I feel like you're becoming more aware of your own needs. You're going inwards than outwards. Someone is from Uruguay. USA, UAE, Russia, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Auckland, Poland, Romania, Russia. Take a pause, take rest is also what I'm getting. I feel you stand tall. You're becoming more and more successful with time. As the time passes by, you're becoming more successful. Vacation. You might need a vacation right now. Go out, have fun. I'm also seeing this person taking you out to a lot of places. Uh, I'm also seeing someone, most of you could be Christian over here. And then uh, someone is from Paris, France, Curaçao. Cancus, Uruguay, Paraguay, Rwanda, Oman, Ukraine, Uganda, South Africa, North Africa, I mean Africa, um, Cubic, America is definitely there. Australia. Saudi Arabia. Afghanistan, Pakistan, India. Uzbekistan. Feather, you might see a lot of feathers. That means you're becoming more spiritual. You're getting more grounded in your life. I feel there's a lot of... Your person is someone that is highly successful. They could be into military or army. It's also what I'm sensing. Yes, time for you to just rock and have fun. Take it easy. Release something that is no longer meant to help you. Some of you are going for a career switch for money. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. And these could be the letters in your name or your person's name. Someone is from Victoria, Vietnam. I'm seeing Laos, 
Sri Lanka. Jordan. Shad. Turkey. Yes. Turkey. Iraq. Ireland. Switzerland. Uh, Romania. Dominican Republic. New Guinea, Guyana, Mauritius, Ghana is also there. Also seeing Cameroon, South Africa, Tanzania. Peru, Peru, yes, Peru is there. Bolivia. That's pretty much it, guys. Canada is there. So I hope this reading has helped you and uh, do subscribe for more insights guys and do claim this reading right I believe and like share hit the notification bell to never miss an, any update I'll see you back again.